In Nuendo, one of the quickest ways to get started with a project is to simply import existing audio material into a project. Many times you'll find that you don't even need to record using the recording features. You may already have a huge library of loops or pre-existing audio material, or sometimes a project comes up in which you're doing a mix down for someone else and they are providing you with all the existing recorded material. These are all situations in which importing audio is important to the workflow. In this movie tutorial, we'll cover the various ways of importing existing audio into your projects. Importing can be done two ways, using the import command from the file menu, or by using the import command from within the pool editor. Whichever method you choose, you simply find the specific format you need to import, and you're done. However, there are a few extra steps that are different based on whether you're importing from the file menu or into the pool. So let's take a closer look at these differences. When importing files using the import command from the file menu, you are first prompted with the standard import dialog box, containing options that we discussed earlier in the project management and setup topic in the pool movie tutorial. Once you select the options you want, Nuendo will automatically create an audio track for this file and it will place the start point of the audio file directly where the playback cursor is currently positioned. This works slightly different when importing into the pool. When importing into the pool, you are first prompted with the same file dialog box. You locate your file, choose the import options you want, and the file is then placed directly into the pool. Now you have several ways to place this file into your project. The easiest method is to simply drag and drop the file directly into the project layout and either place it on an existing audio track or drag it into an empty area which creates a new track for the file. If you need to be more specific about your placement, you can right-click or control-click on the audio file and choose the option to insert using timecode. A small dialog box appears, allowing you to type in the exact timecode position that you need the file to appear at. Hit OK and you're done. Let's take a quick run-through and import some material. I have a Rhodes part in a bass line that is lacking a rhythm section. Let's sift through some existing drum loops and see if we can get one that works. I'm going to do this via the pool, so I'll open up the pool editor first. We'll click on import, then check out some of the audio files. Now that we have them imported, I'll try placing a few of them in the project. Hmm, I'm not quite sure about this one. Let's try this one out next. Now that's better. I'm totally feeling the groove now. As you can see, it's very easy to get audio into Nuendo and immediately start working away. Both methods of importing offer you a quick and easy way to get the material you need into your projects. With these methods in place, it's not always necessary to use the recording functions within Nuendo, but when that time comes, you'll find it's just as powerful. We'll be covering recording within this topic. The next movie tutorial shows how to set up your recording inputs and routing.